Hey guys, it's Sarah here. In this video, we're going to be going over a year analysis. What a year analysis is, is basically analyzing your urine. So you could tell a lot from urine. First of all, you could tell someone's kidney failure. You could tell if they have a urinary tract infection, kidney stone. Also, you could tell um, acid-base imbalances. You could tell if GU malignancies. You could also tell something just as simple as um, the volume status, you know, if they're dehydrated or not. So this is why it's really important to understand how to interpret your analysis. So in this video, I'm going to be going over that and how to tell if someone has a urinary tract infection, the main one. So let's get started. So just like a just like one more thing before I get started into the urine analysis is that just by looking at the urine, forget about like running the urine in a lab, just by looking at the urine, you can learn a lot. You look at it, is it light? That means they're hydrated. Is it dark? They're dehydrated. Is it cloudy? You Usually that means a urinary tract infection. Does it have an odor in it? Like you could tell a lot of stuff just smelling and just looking at it. You should just know that a lot of times when you do look at it, a lot of stuff could influence someone's color of the urine, stuff like medical conditions, like rhabdomyolysis, stuff like food, different medications could change the color of your urine and how it looks and, and everything else like that. So you also have to know your patient. So let's get started. So for the urine analysis, it, it analyzes a lot of different stuff. The specific gravity, glucose, heme, nitrites, protein, leukocytes, esterase, um, ketones, bilirubin, etc. Let's start from specific gravity. So, so specific gravity is basically telling you how dense it is. If something's more dense, it means it's more concentrated, so there's less fluid in it. So that means they're dehydrated. So if someone's specific gravity is towards the higher end, so a normal specific gravity is around 1.001 to 1.035. If someone's specific gravity is towards the higher end, it means it's very dense, so they're dehydrated. If someone's specific gravity is toward the lower end, point like 1.00, it's usually dilute, so it's usually hydrated. Or it could even go into if they have DI or SIADH like that. Now, you could also look at someone's pH. So in general, you know, like a pH is 7.35, 7.45. Someone who's on the lower end is usually acid. Someone on the higher end is usually alkalosis. So in the pH, in the urine, it's the same thing, just a different number. It's around 4.5 to 8 around. So someone who's on the lower end is acidosis, someone on the higher end, which is like eight, is usually alkalosis. And you could tell a lot from like acid-base disorders based on the pH. What you could also tell from someone's urine is if they have protein in the urine, something like albumin, if it's present in the urine. You could also tell if someone has glucose. So glucose should never be present in the urine. If it is, that means that there's too much in the body and it's spilling over, usually. So something like diabetes would be able to cause it. And also something like kidney, like if, if the kidneys fail and they're not filtering correctly, then a lot of stuff could be present in the urine. So it could either be from the, from usually from like they're diabetic and they have too much glucose and it's spilling over, or it could be a problem with an actual kidney that's not filtering correctly. You also have heme, like blood, is there blood in the urine or myoglobin um, from like rhabdomyolysis. You have stuff that could key you into a urinary tract infection. So urinary tract infection, you could tell by the following stuff, nitrites, glucoside esterase, white blood cell count, and bacteria. But the only really key one of it all is the nitrites. I'll tell you what. Nitrates are normal to have in the urine, but when it turns into nitrites with I, it should not be in the urine. So that is a clue for urinary tract infection. It's pretty much like almost always, like nine out of 10 times someone has a high nitrates, it's a urinary tract infection. When someone has a urinary tract infection, what you wanna do is you wanna know which bacteria is present in the urine. And the only way to do that is to send in, send to the lab, a culture and sensitivity. A culture and sensitivity is basically, it's gonna run the urine and let you know which bacteria is in there. And the reason why you wanna know this is because you have to treat them with an antibiotic that's specific. Because if you give a general one, the bacteria could be resistant to the antibiotic. And the culture and sensitivity will tell you what it is resistant to, what's sensitivity, and it will tell you which, bacteria, which antibiotics to use. In general, before you get that back, um, you usually treat someone with Bactrim, 
or nitrofurantoin. Those are the two ones that I usually use to treat a urinary tract infection. Once they know which bacteria, it could be more specific and more aimed to that bacteria. Okay, also, so ketones should not be present in the urine. It's, ketones are usually the breakdown when someone's in starvation um, or ketoacidosis you know when their body turns to that to make fuel instead of the regular glucose also the bilirubin could be elevated um if you see bilirubin in the urine you you generally want to think of like liver disease so that's it for this video that's basically like a nutshell a very um surface nutshell of a urinalysis obviously you could go much deeper um we don't have time in this video thank you for watching please like and subscribe and stay tuned thank you